Hello everyone, my name is Ron, and today I'm going to talk about postpartum depression, a subject which is of interest for many women. Unfortunately, it can be difficult to find ways to cope with postpartum depression, especially since you'll also have a baby to attend to. So let us shed some light on the matter. Postpartum depression is more common than you might think, affecting women of all ages, occupations, and backgrounds. It's also called the baby blues, being caused by the avalanche of hormones and the new changes one is going through. Before you reach a state of desperation, however, you should be happy to know that there are plenty of efficient ways to cope with postpartum depression. And here are some recommendations. Me time. Even though you might be tempted to dedicate yourself entirely to the baby, don't forget about the necessary me time. Ask a parent or relative to spend an hour or two with the baby. This respite will help you feel like yourself all over again. Physical exercise. Being active is essential for both the body and the brain. Happiness hormones are released at the level of the brain with physical exercise, helping you fight postpartum depression. Sleep. Even though it might sound like the obvious thing to do, you should sleep at the same time with the baby. This will help you recover and maintain a positive state of mind. Healthy eating. A diet that is rich in fruits and vegetables will help you feel better, that's for certain. You can plan and prepare meals ahead of time so that you don't feel overwhelmed. Supplements. Taking supplements such as fish oil can help you recover faster from postpartum depression. Fish oils are rich in omega-3 fatty acids including DHA, which is found in lower levels in recent mothers. So these are only a couple of ways in which you can cope with postpartum depression. Take your time and don't speed through things, as you'll gradually feel better. For more information on postpartum health, follow ConsumerHealthDigest.com.